Hey there. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to design Olympics logo in GIMP. So let's start. First, I need a new image. So click on the file option, then choose new and choose the size of your image or you can choose the templates. So I'm going to choose 1024 by 768 template size. In the advanced option, I need this image to be of white color. So I have chosen the fill with background color, which is white right now. You can see here. So choose the background color, press OK. So we got one image with white background. Next, just for design symmetry, I need some guide. So I have chosen the show grid option from the view. Okay. So uh, if we look here, this these are set of rings. So in order to design the first ring, choose the eclipse select tool. And in this, when you once you double click on this, you get all the options here. Uh, here you get this option of fixed in that I have chosen the uh, option of aspect ratio which is means our height to width ratio will be same I need to fix the size so that every ring is of same size so I have chosen the fixed size option uh, let's say the size is 250 by 250 okay so design your ring and uh, now in order to turn this ring into or uh, turn this circle into a ring right uh, i can choose the option of border okay so let me first place it uh, on a fine place now right click choose the option of select and then border choose the width of your border how much widen the border has to be uh, as per your requirement so let's fill this before that uh, see this is uh, one uh, image on the top of it, I'm going to make a new layer with the transparent option. Okay, so let's fill this ring with the blue color. So done with uh, using bucket tool. If you can see, uh, the ring, uh, only layer one is of consists of only one ring. Now copy this ring and make a new layer, and then choose the transparency option. Press OK. And right click and edit and paste okay so on the new layer we have pasted second ring I need to place it so I'm going to choose the move tool place it at the required position and uh, let's do this okay so done let me zoom it to see how fine it is okay it's looking good okay so zoom out okay so going back to the layers you can see it is in the floating state so I need to right click and anchor this layer to the layer number two okay so now go to the if you don't get this layers option you can go to windows and then dockable dialogs and there you can get the option of layers all right so in the similar manner i'm going to make the third layer then paste the uh, uh, right click and edit and paste the option and uh, fill this ring with the third color which is red i guess so the whole process is very simple i'm making a new layer then whatever i had created on the very first layer i'm just pasting it because i need all the rings of same size so i don't need to make it again and again okay so let's fill it with the red color why i'm making multiple layers so that i can edit each layer each ring individually it gives me more power on the design okay so it's now let me okay i need to change the color of second ring as well so go back and uh, so let with the black color okay we got the first three rings now let's move to the fourth one again the process is same choose the transparent layer paste the ring place it at the required position and then using the move tool fill it with the required color and so on okay so let's fill it with okay fine 
uh, don't forget to anchor the floating layer once you're done with this only the last string is left so again paste it place it at its correct position then fill it with the green color using paint bucket tool okay so choose the paint bucket tool and fill it with the green color all right so we are ready with our five rings don't forget to anchor the layer floating layer done so i got five layers and five rings now if i go back to the image you can see uh, this blue color is at the front and the yellow one is at at the back but this is not the case with the image that we have designed so in order to achieve this uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to choose the layer which is of this yellow mustard color so i have selected the layer with this color now using the free select tool i'm going to select the area which i want to delete okay so choose the area using free free select tool all right so okay fine meet all the uh, both the ends so that it's a complete circle and the loop is made okay so made the starting end now just hit the delete key from the keyboard and it will be deleted okay so select i need to deselect it so select done uh if you can see i can see some blue area is deleted so i need to make this better so i have chosen the brush option and i'm going to fill it with the blue color okay just to make it more, look more fine uh, in the similar manner okay now it's looking good and uh, i guess it's fine all right so we are ready with the first ring now moving back again in the second ring black has to be at the front in the same manner choose the ring choose the layer with the black okay i need to uh, delete the green one so i have chosen the layer with the green color so again using the free select tool select the area that you want to delete first and all you have to do is just hit the delete key on the keyboard and whatever area you have selected on this layer will be deleted so done if, uh, you can see there is some white portion there so first i need to deselect using select and then none option uh, again uh, i have chosen the green color choose the brush tool and fill the white pixels with green color so that our design is good to go okay so done uh, there is some black area which is missing so let's brush it with the black color all right so it's done uh, other than this you can also follow uh, one more method using eraser tool if you are not um, comfortable with free select tool again i'm going to use uh, first you need to select the layer make sure you have selected the correct layer otherwise it won't work okay so this time i'm uh, going to use the eraser tool the other method that you can use so let me pick eraser and when i okay i have selected the wrong one wrong layer I need to select the red one okay so using the eraser tool i am erasing the area which i don't want here okay so fine you can zoom in to get better view using the zoom tool or you can click at the bottom to get the uh, more zoom view of your image okay so done 
let me modify some red color which is missing here using the brush tool so you have multiple options you can use the select tool you can use the brush tool you can use uh, eraser tool whatever is fine for you okay so uh, it's entirely your wish whichever tool you are comfortable with you can go on in the same manner using the eraser tool i'll perform the same action on the third uh, on the next string so select the appropriate layer and then choose the eraser tool and erase it all right so let me make it better okay now it's looking good so i guess i have got it right now all the rings are at its appropriate locations so all right let's remove the grid so that we get the better view of our image all right so this is how you design olympics logo in game very easy to follow just only a few steps to follow and everything is repetitive also to request the video of your choice or to provide some kind of suggestions you can follow the link given in the description below i hope you have liked the video thanks for watching and have a nice day bye bye